extremely excited. Um, I've had a, a long time out of rugby and uh, to be coming back to the Premiership Champions is pretty exciting. So I originally went to Loughborough University um, where I played rugby and I got picked up by Worcester Warriors in my uh, final year playing there. And then I had the opportunity in 2017 to go and try out for the NFL. So I got out of my contract and went across the pond and spent the next three years playing in the NFL. And now I'm back, going back into rugby from being in the NFL. Obviously, I've got a different skill set now. And Harlequins, I think, gives me the best opportunity to kind of add to the team and really show what I can do as an athlete and make a big contribution. And I can see where I can fit in the team. So it was a decision that um, I took my time with, but one that I'm extremely excited about. In terms of the explosiveness and the speed of the game, it's a lot faster. So I'm used to um, playing against guys who are bigger than me. I've never had that in rugby where I was usually the biggest guy on the field. Um, but then now I've been used to spending three years competing against guys who are 160, 170 kilos and trying to move them. So um, coming back to rugby is definitely an interesting task because I've now got a more more honed skill set that I can use and use in different ways. And I've got different attributes that I can draw on from my time in America and build on the skills I had already. Before I left, I was playing four, five and a bit of six. So um, I probably say I'm more of the true lock, um, physical. Uh, I kind of pride myself on my physicality um, in attack and defense. So um, that's pretty much what you're going to get from me. Um, a lot of hard running lines, a lot of big collisions. Yeah, I went to school with uh, Tommy, uh, so I know him very, very well. I uh, was still in the WhatsApp group. He actually uh, sent me a message almost every day until I signed, so uh, he was a big pull of me coming for sure. Uh, Nick David, I played I played with Nick um, at Worcester. He was in the academy at the time, so I know him. I actually met up with him uh, the other day and then just looking to get um, involved with a few of the other boys. I think I know Scott Steele from, uh, he was at Loughborough when he was at um, Leicester for a while, so I know a few of the boys. I was watching the games in disbelief, to be honest, especially the, the semi-final. I think it was 28-0 down, and I wasn't sure if they'd be able to turn that around. But for some reason, with the momentum that the boys had, it was something that wasn't impossible. Um, even going into the final, you saw Joe Marler saying, believe, believe, and you can really feel that within the team. It doesn't matter what the score is. Watching those two games, who wouldn't want to play for a team like that? A, guy, a group of guys who never know when they're beaten and just want to win and they look like they're playing with a smile on their faces so I'm really excited about joining the group of guys who've just been able to put a historic run together.